pressed by the press. Journalists fell over themselves to catch a glimpse of the porn star at the centre of a case concerning the president's lawyer. Mr Cohen has acted like he is above the law. He has considered himself and openly referred to himself as Mr Trump's fixer. He is played by a different set of rules, or should we say no rules at all. Inside court, it was a legal stalemate, as Donald Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, argued an FBI raid last week was unlawful. But outside, Stormy Daniels was settling old scores. He has never thought that the little man, or especially women, and even more women like me, mattered. That ends now. Do you think there's recordings that Mr Cohen made of Ms Daniels? Stormy Daniels' lawyer fired a warning shot too. Donald Trump was in his sights. The president trusted Mr. Cohen as his fixer for years. He trusted him with his innermost secrets, and I think that the chickens are about to come home to roost. Nothing, no evidence. Conservative Fox News host and loud defender of Mr. Trump, Sean Hannity, was also named in court, revealed along with the president as one of only three Cohen clients. He denied any formal relationship between himself and the lawyer, saying in a tweet, Michael Cohen has never represented me in any matter. I never retained him, received an invoice or paid legal fees. I have occasionally had brief discussions with him about legal questions. Michael Cohen was radioactive and that anybody that was associated with him in the last 20 to 30 years should be very, very concerned. In Florida, the US president was staying above the fray and on message, selling his tax plan to a friendly audience. This country is starting to rock with our businesses coming back in. It's starting to really rock. But the pursuit of one of his personal protectors may have rocked the president to the core. The revelation that Cohen made payments of hush money could help enemies build a case against Mr Trump. Stormy Daniels is the one adversary the president never tweets about and very rarely mentions. Insiders say that's because he's even more concerned and angered by the raids on his lawyer's office than he is about the Russia probe. Connor Duffy, ABC News, Washington.